Ooh. sending you with a hiking treat. Don't pay attention to this mouse that tried to buy it. <laughs> homemade, oh no. oh not, no. not homemade by me, but a baker. <laughs> What's up fellow journeyers? Now officially, in February of 2022, we are RVing in Orlando, Florida. But unofficially, for this video, we're gonna be traveling back in time. No way! They're traveling through time. How's it going, royal ugly dudes? Put them in the iron maiden. Excellent! Execute them, bogus. Today we're going to be going back in time to answer a question we have gotten a ton, which is what does it look like for us to film our videos behind the scenes? What kind of gear are we using? Is it difficult to film these adventures and yet not take away from the experience or immersing ourselves in where we're at? Well, today you're in luck because we actually have unseen footage that we filmed a year and a half ago when we were RVing the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And not only did we answer these questions, we did it while doing one of our favorite hikes we did the entire time we were in the Upper Peninsula called Chapel Rock. This video in this hike has overfriendly chipmunks. Looks like may or may not have been a bear attack on a sign, a snakes, waterfalls, beaches. And if you've never seen Chapel Rock, this is like a must do hike if you're in the area. I don't have a phone booth, but let's travel back in time to Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Of course we're having tacos. Taco Friday, I guess. Fajita Friday. Fajita Friday, my bad. Yeah, I just made that up. Is that a thing? It's actually pretty good. It should be a thing. It should be a thing. But I'm leaving on a hike with Stuart. Now Marissa and Lindsay Stewart's wife have already done this hike. Are we on an all girls hike? Yeah. <laughs> did it get a hold of the sun? It didn't want us to know, did it? Whoa. Woo! If that snake gets down, you're gonna see mommy run and scream. <laughs> what is over here? I'm getting out of here. Snake. How many miles did you hike all by Six. yourself? Six miles, six years old. Bye, Hensley. Bye. Do you say bye? Bye. I'm sending you with a hiking treat. Don't pay bye. attention to this mouse that tried to buy it. <laughs> ah. Homemade, oh, no. oh, not, no. not homemade by me, but a baker. It probably won't make it to the trail, so. All right, we're getting out of here. Bye bye, baby. No, you just, oh, I thought you were missing me. You just want that. cinnamon roll. <laughs> I thought you wanted to give me a hug. How about you give me a kiss? Say, I'll kiss that cinnamon roll. We're not using Apple Maps, are we? No. <laughs> he no, said, never again. deleted it. <laughs> Half a mile out. People starting to park on the side here. Good grief. Oh Look at these ruts on the side of the road. Oh, man. From people getting stuck. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine if you had your class scene? You went off the side right here? Oh, my goodness. Looks like cars are just abandoned and stuff. <laughs> so highly recommend coming early or coming late for here, because otherwise it's just jam-packed. You might be walking a mile before you walk the six miles of this hike. The six mile hike could be like a eight or 10 mile hike. And I've got another decision to make. I'm just gonna try some. Yeah, well I didn't know if you'd let me eat in your truck. I, look at, I have two kids. <laughs> pretty good. The icing is like coming off though. I'm gonna gain weight on this hike. Be bear aware. Take all your food with you. Done. Here's where we're going right here. No. Chapel Rock. We're gonna have this thing all to ourselves. Oh man, I bring my headlight. Did you bring yours? I have a flashlight and a headlight. I'll only bring the essentials. <laughs> There's not too many hikes or times where like I'm not with the girls and not with the whole family. But it's pretty cool because I think I get a different angle on things when it's me with someone else. So I've hiked to the top of a glacier and spent the night with my brother. That was epic. Hiked to Angel's Landing with my wife Marissa. Like, oh my goodness, so awesome. Total stop. He's gonna hop in that bag, right? <laughs> get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Of course, if you're gonna travel, three big things stand out to me when it comes to capturing things. Whether you're doing a YouTube video for just you, your family, or just an iPhone video that maybe you're gonna watch later, uh, this is some stuff that stands out the most to me. So number one, I think you need the most expensive gear possible. That's the trick. You buy the expensive gear and everything's gonna be just awesome. Try not to laugh. <laughs> is that funny? That's tip number one, right? <laughs> I mean, that's why we're both out here with what? Four or five year old cameras? <laughs> <laughs> A 
but he's shooting with an a7 III. I've got my GH5. Definitely not the best of the best when it comes to camera gear. Still, still a step up for maybe like just an iPhone or something like that, but you can do some pretty cool stuff with an iPhone too. Just want to kind of get that out of the way first. Does gear matter at all? Yeah, it matters. Or I'd be out here shooting with like a, you know, a GoPro Hero 3 or something like that. But is it the be all, end all of everything? No. Uh, I think the first thing that really matters, and a lot of this does come from just practice, 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 but you're shooting for story, especially with video. And so what I mean by that is when you see something, putting on video or putting it in a photo, it needs to make you feel something. But what, what do you think you're seeing or feeling with this? I'm just seeing all the warm light and it's like dappled in there, you know, being filtered through the trees and everything else. It, it changes the complete appearance of the trail. And if we were here 20 minutes ago or 20 minutes from now, it wouldn't look like this. This kind of tells the story is when we came through here at the exact time. So we're grabbing these flares through all this light that's coming through here. Looks pretty cool. But part of telling a story too is like you've, you've, got, to, you've got to move. Like you can't just keep everything eye level. Just shoot high if you're trying to make something feel big. You're just looking up at it or maybe if you want something to feel small, you're shooting down low. Different angles can make you feel different things and tell different stories as well. So like in this distance, it just feels bigger, more majestic. That's beautiful. If you've watched our videos even for like 30 seconds, you'll notice I'm constantly changing angles. And that's because the angles sometimes can help tell a story, they help keep the viewer's attention. I like to use zoom lenses for this reason. If something's like super critical or super important. You can really zoom in on yourself, but all the focus on yourself and all the crazy shadows that are going on in your face. So even use a zoom lens, you know, on a camera can be part of the story because you talk with it. Like you're talking about this waterfall over here and how, uh, you know, how epic that is. <laughs> you know, the closer I get to this trunk, just makes everything feel small by me shooting up at this huge tree. It's pretty good. I wouldn't advise shooting up your nose though. This is awesome. Sun coming through back here. Look at all this light coming off these trees. I love trails that kind of take you on a journey. Like um, some trails you go on them and they're beautiful, but they're kind of the same thing throughout the entire trail. Like you're just following a creek or you're maybe, maybe you're hiking on the side of a mountain or maybe you're just hiking through the woods. But this trail so far feels like it's you know, we've walked by a waterfall, we've walked through, I mean, this almost reminds me of, I don't know, Lord of the Rings or something. Like I could totally see some guys, <laughs> dead, dead guys on horses, like chasing me down right now from behind, like. It's pretty legit out here. I'm so excited for when it's pitch black on the way back. Oh man. <laughs> Luckily enough, you forgot your flashlight. I did, I, I remember the cinnamon roll. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. That is so cool. So the second thing to bring videos to life, I know this doesn't apply to much photography, uh, but sound. So our camera, we have this uh, shotgun microphone we keep on top of our camera all the time. We'll set up this GoPro, hold on. How many people do you think climb that out there? That's, that's screaming for a college kid to climb out there and do oh, that. Oh, you know that. <laughs> not, uh, not me. <laughs> More people jump off of this. I'm just seeing all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Not crazy stuff I'm gonna do, but I still see the crazy stuff. Sound is a huge deal with video. Like honestly, viewers will put up with poor video quality over poor sound. I mean, if all of a sudden like, it's me flicking my microphone. Like if I was doing that nonstop, if there's a hissing noise, you just couldn't hear me because the waves are crashing below and I'm behind the microphone. You don't have to have a super fancy shotgun microphone. You don't even have to have a shotgun microphone. You just gotta pay attention more to what's around you with sound going on. We like the shotgun microphone and I've got a really wide lens. So I can keep it close to my face. So even if there's a lot going on around me, if I'm in a big city, if I've got waves crashing down, like just below me, it's focusing on my voice. It's picking up me. This is the other side of it. You want the shotgun to pick up you, but then sometimes you want to flip it out. And you want it to just pick up the wind and the waves. Oh my goodness, it sounds so awesome. sound I mean and it ties back into the storytelling all this revolves around the storytelling sacrifice video quality before you sacrifice sound if that doesn't show perseverance I don't know what does totally suspended there's the root system and then that's it man that's like something out of Avatar or something. I'm just doing all kinds of movie references today. <laughs> I think we got something else pretty cool coming up. This is insane. Oh my goodness. We 
got here about 20 minutes too late. The light was already starting to go. I mean, it's going down fast. He, he's just taking pictures like crazy. I'm taking video like crazy. But man, this is just something else. Hope you guys can hear it and feel it just a little bit. This is awesome. Like a waterfall coming onto a beach, a tree that's like basically living on top of these giant sandstone boulder looking things with a root system coming across a gorge, going through these woods with this crazy light coming in, seeing another beautiful waterfall. I mean, like, it's a great hike. So one thing I do, and this is kind of a side note to the other three things I'm gonna mention, uh, but I have sort of like a uh, film crew with me. Not really. Uh, the GoPros are my film crew. So what I'll do is when I get to a spot and I think, oh, there might be something cool there. And I don't know if there's gonna be anything cool tonight. There's not that many clouds. You really want some movement more so than just waves. You want people moving around, clouds moving around, all that kind of thing. But I've got two GoPros. One of them's right here, it's doing a time lapse. And then the other one, I can't even see it, but it's over there on a rock somewhere doing a time lapse as well. And basically, time lapses are those things you guys see where like everything's moving kind of fast and maybe a little bit jumpy and sometimes speed it up, slow it down. Sometimes we're in a car, sometimes it's a sunset, a sunrise. It helps tell the story in a different way. And again, it's just giving you a different angle of what's going on. I also like the drone. I love doing that angle, but I can't, there's no droning here, so I can't do that angle here. I've got three lenses I use pretty much my GH5 when I'm using that. Uh, I've got the long lens, which is what helps me really zoom in. If you ever see these really tight shots, usually slow motion, but sometimes something else, but they're really tight shots with some bokeh in the background. That's the long lens. What I've got on right now, I haven't had this on most of the time. You'll see it kind of blurs the stuff around me a little bit. This is my fastest lens. It's just a 12. It doesn't have a zoom. And the one I use the most is my zoom lens that I use. Uh, it's 8 to 18, which is 16 to 36 full frame. Nerdy numbers or whatever. But uh, I use those different lenses to get different angles. 90 plus percent of my shots are done with my zoom lens that you saw I had on the beginning, the wide one, and then this long lens. Now the gear we're using in 2022 has actually changed quite a bit. So honestly, the biggest thing that's changed in 2022 is this, my iPhone 13 Pro. You know, it's never gonna really compare. This is our main camera we're using now. It's the a7S III, but just the convenience, the functionality, and just the ease of use with the iPhone. Like we find ourselves more and more just whipping on our iPhones and filming. Now, as far as the lenses we use with our Sony, we've got the wide one I showed you guys that this is on right now. We use this 24 to 105. I consider that my long lens or my zoom lens. The main microphone we use now is like the Sony built-in microphone. Our drone of choice is the DJI Air 2S. We have an Insta360 we'll use occasionally for 360 footage. So I'm actually trying out uh, the Insta360 Go 2. The camera is inside this case, which is about the size of an AirPod 2 case. This is the actual camera, and this is why it's so cool. The size of this camera lets me do some really neat shots and then stuff like this. How do I do that? <laughs> it also comes with a magnet necklace. So I can just, uh, on filming days, I'll just be wearing that. If I want a POV shot, I'll stick the camera right there and then I can like, have have hands-free shots if I need to on stuff. So that's the gear we're using in 2022. Back to the vlog. <laughs> He's trying to time it so he can get as far out as he can. He's gonna get a shot of Castle Rock up here. You're more committed than me. Here we go. <laughs> that is not gonna be smooth. <laughs> yeah, I got it that time. We started with the used GoPro Hero 3 in an iPhone 6 Plus. That's it, like that's how we started our channel. First, I don't know, three months we had that, and six months we bought a little point and shoot, and then maybe a year in we bought, I think, a Canon 70D, and then, you know, we sort of progressed from there. But like, man, this is epic. I love doing stuff like this when nobody else is around. This is great. Got the whole beach to ourselves. Oh, so beautiful. And it's not about the gear, it's about story. It's about sound. And the third thing that I think has been a big deal for me as far as video, which is what I'm having used right now, is light. Like light, you've sort of seen it intertwining throughout this video, uh, through the trees, through the sunset, off the water. Um, I had to change lenses at one point because of the light. I mean, especially in the beginning, when we had like the GoPro 3 and the iPhone, like you've got to pay special attention to the light. You want to use the light to your advantage as much as you can and you're watching for those special times where light just does special things. In the morning, at night, like now, I'm definitely gonna need this light to get back. Look at this without the light. It's not even pitch black yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought a light, man. This thing's puny. Light's such a huge deal. Whether you're doing talking head, whether you're shooting travel videos. Okay, I'm gonna start watching where I'm going or <laughs> I'm gonna trip and fall the way back. Goodbye, Castle Rock Tree. You're one of the most beautiful things I've seen. That is crazy. Oh man. You're just a regular outdoorsman over here, aren't you? Look at this. Look at those boots. You're legit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, boots. These guys are not scared of anybody. <laughs> One of these guys came in the RV the other day. 
because I left the door cracked open. I was chilling on the couch. Oh, you were. No, he wasn't chilling on the couch. I was Wait, chilling. You said on the he was chilling on the couch when you walked. No, in. <laughs> I was chilling on the couch. He was staring at me though. We sort of stared at each other for a second, and then I pretty much said, "Get out of here." <laughs> what do you think is the hardest part of like telling story and filming and YouTubing? In the beginning, it's getting over the fear. I think fear of being in front of a camera. I think I had a fear that. I don't have anything valuable to share. Uh, yeah. And so that was always um, a fear I had to get over. But then I started realizing, well, if it's something that I learned and I found valuable, mm -hmm. then maybe someone else would find it valuable. Now it's trying to be in the moment while you're filming is probably the biggest struggle for me. And that's why I love you and this camera and you guys as friends, because it's like we always have friends traveling with us and we can just talk to you guys and tell you about what we're experiencing. And that's how when I see the camera, I don't think about who's, I mean, we think about who's behind the camera, but I don't think about everybody behind the camera. We just view well, the cameras. Well, now you just brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I picture all of you in your underwear. That was a tip somebody told me when I was speaking. No, uh, but no, you, that's really weird for somebody, I'm sure. But, yeah, I picture one person. I picture a friend. I'm talking to a friend. I'm saying, hey, check this out. You know, like, just like if you're there with somebody. And sometimes we have thoughts that we share with each other. We're like, let's share that with our friend as well. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see more of the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, I will link to a playlist that has all of our Michigan vlogs. And also, if you want to see links to our gear, I will link to that down below. Woo! <laughs> Today's video was loaded. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely an awesome journey for us. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.